Please subscribe to In5D YouTube videos. Due to new algorithms and shadow banning on Facebook, please subscribe to In5D and get all updates delivered to your inbox in one simple email. Just go to In5D.com to subscribe. How many of these 51 spiritual awakening symptoms do you have? Quiz Yourself and Your Friends by Anarita, number 1. Changing sleep patterns, restlessness, hot feet. Waking up two or three times a night. Feeling tired after you wake up and sleepy off and on during the day. There is something called the triad sleep pattern that occurs for many. You sleep for about two to three hours, wake up, go back to sleep for another couple of hours, wake again, and go back to sleep again. For others, the sleep requirements have changed. You can get by on less sleep. Lately I have been experiencing huge waves of energy running into my body from the crown. It feels good, but it keeps me awake for a long time, then subsides. Advice. Get used to it. Make peace with it and don't worry about getting enough sleep, which often causes more insomnia. You will be able to make it through the day if you hold thoughts of getting just what you need. You can also request your higher self to give you a break now and then and give you a good deep night's sleep. If you can't go back to sleep right away, use the waking moments to meditate, read poetry, write in your journal or look at the moon. Your body will adjust to the new pattern. Number 2. Activity at the crown of the head. Tingling, itching, prickly, crawling sensations along the scalp and or down the spine. A sense of energy vibrating on top of the head. As if energy is erupting from the head in a shower. Also the sensation of energy pouring in through the crown, described as, sprinkles. This may also be experienced as pressure on the crown. As if someone is pushing his, her finger into the center of your head. As I mentioned in number one, I have been experiencing huge downloads of energy through the crown. In the past. I have felt more generalized pressure, as if my head is in a gentle vice. One man related that his hair stood on end and his body was covered with goosebumps. Advice. This is nothing to be alarmed about. What you are experiencing is an opening of the crown chakra. The sensations mean that you are opening up to receive divine energy. Number 3. Sudden waves of emotion. Crying at the drop of a hat. Feeling suddenly angry or sad with little provocation. Or inexplicably depressed. Then very happy. Emotional roller coaster. There is often a pressure or sense of emotions congested in the heart chakra, the middle of the chest. This is not to be confused with the heart, which is located to the left of the heart chakra. Advice. Accept your feelings as they come up and let them go. Go directly to your heart chakra and feel the emotion. Expand it outward to your all your fields and breathe deeply from the belly all the way up to your upper chest. Just feel the feeling and let it evaporate on its own. Don't direct the emotions at anyone. You are cleaning out your past. If you want some help with this. Say out loud that you intend to release all these old issues and ask your higher power to help you. You can also ask Grace Elohim to help you release with ease and gentleness. Be grateful that your body is releasing these emotions and not holding onto them inside where they can do harm. One source suggests that depression is linked to letting go of relationships to people work, etc. that no longer match us and our frequencies. When we feel guilty about letting go of these relationships, depression helps us medicate that pain. Number 4. Old, stuff, seems to be coming up, as described above, and the people with whom you need to work it out, or their clones, appear in your life. Completion issues. Or perhaps you need to work through issues of self-worth, abundance, creativity, addictions, etc. The resources or people you need to help you move through these issues start to appear. 
advice. Same as number three. Additionally, don't get too involved in analyzing these issues. Examining them too much will simply cycle you back through them over and over again at deeper and deeper levels. Get professional help if you need to and walk through it. Do not try to avoid them or disassociate yourself from them. Embrace whatever comes up and thank it for helping you move ahead. Thank your higher power for giving you the opportunity to release these issues. Remember, you don't want these issues to stay stuck in your body. Number 5. Changes in weight. The weight gain in the U.S. population is phenomenal. Other people may be losing weight. We often gain weight because many fears we have suppressed are now coming up to the surface to be healed. We react by building up a defense. We also attempt to ground ourselves or provide bulk against increasing frequencies in our bodies. Advice, don't freak out, but just accept it as a symptom of where you are right now. You will release, gain the weight when all your fears have been integrated. Release your anxiety about this. Then you might find it easier to lose, gain the weight eventually. Exercise. Before eating, try this. Sit at the table with an attractive place setting. Light a candle. Enjoy how the food looks. Place your dominant hand over your heart and bless the food. Tell your body that you are going to use the food to richly nourish it. But that you are not going to use the food to fulfill your emotional hungers. Then pass your hand from left to right over the food and bless it. You may notice that the food feels warm to your hand even if the food is cold. I like to think that the food is good for me when it feels warm and nourishing to my hand. I have also noticed that when I practice blessing the food, I don't eat as much. It is important not to let yourself off the hook when you forget to bless the food before you eat. If I've forgotten and I've nearly finished eating, I bless the food anyway. That way I don't slip out of the habit. Another thing you can do is to stay present while eating, don't watch TV or read. Heartily enjoy what blessings are before you. Number 6. Changes in eating habits, strange cravings and odd food choices. Some find they are not as hungry as they used to be. Or hungrier. Advice. Don't deny what your body tells you it needs. If you are not sure, you might try muscle testing before you chose a food to see if it's what your body wants. Also try blessing the food as described in number 5. Number 7. Food intolerances, allergies you never had before. As you grow more spiritual, you are more sensitive to everything around you. Your body will tell you what it can no longer tolerate, as if it, too, is sloughing off what doesn't serve it anymore. You might be cleansing yourself of toxins. Some people find they often have a white residue in their mouth, much like that of runners at the end of a race. Advice. An acupuncturist told me that this film can be removed by sloshing two tablespoons of cold-pressed olive oil in your mouth for 10 to 15 minutes. Don't swallow, whatever you do. Then spitting it out into the toilet, not the sink, for you just removed toxins from your body and don't want them in the sink. Brush your teeth and do the same. Then clean your brush. Sorry, this is yucky, but it works. Number 8. Amplification of the senses. Increased sensitivity. 8a. Sight, blurry vision, shimmering objects, seeing glittery particles, auras around people, plants, animals, and objects. Some report seeing formerly opaque objects as transparent. When you close your eyes, you no longer see darkness, but redness. You may also see geometric shapes or brilliant colors and pictures when eyes are closed. Colors appear more vivid, the sky might look teal or grass and amazing green. Often I see grids running across the ground. As you become more sensitive, you may see shapes or outlines in the air, especially when the room is almost dark. When your eyes are open or closed, 
You may see white shapes in your peripheral vision. These are your guides. Advice. Your vision is changing in many ways. You are experiencing new ways of seeing. Be patient. Whatever you do, do not be afraid. Hazy vision may be relieved by yawning. 8b. Hearing. Increased or decreased hearing. I once thought I would have to pull off the road because of the painfully amplified sound of my tires on the freeway. Other symptoms are hearing white noise in the head, beeps, tones, music or electronic patterns, some hear water rushing, bees buzzing, whooshing, roaring or ringing. Others have what is called audio dyslexia. You can't always make out what people are saying. As if you can no longer translate your own language. Some hear strange voices in their dreams, as if someone is hovering near them. You can either ask the presences to leave or ask Archangel Michael to take care of the situation. Again, there is nothing to fear. Advice, surrender to it. Let it come through. Listen. Your ears are adjusting to new frequencies. 8C. Enhanced senses of smell, touch, and or taste. I notice I can now smell and taste chemical additives in some foods in a rather unpleasant manner. Other food may taste absolutely wonderful. For some people, these enhancements are both delightful and distracting. You might even smell the fragrance of flowers now and then. Many of the mystics did. Enjoy it. Number 9. Skin eruptions. Rashes, bumps, acne, hives, and shingles. Anger produces outbreaks around the mouth and chin. I had a dermatitis on my extremities for several months that accompanied healing an episode from my past. When I had worked through most of the issue, the condition was released. Advice. You may be sloughing off toxins and bringing emotions to the surface. When there is an issue to be released and you are trying to repress it, your skin will express the issue for you until you process the emotions. Work through your stuff. Number 10. Episodes of intense energy which make you want to leap out of bed and into action. Followed by periods of lethargy and fatigue. The fatigue usually follows great shifts. This is a time of integration, so give into it. Advice, roll with the nature of the energy. Don't fight it. Be gentle with yourself. Take naps if you are tired. Write your novel if you are too energized to sleep. Take advantage of the type of energy. Number 11. Changes in prayer or meditation. Not feeling the same sensations as before. Not having the same experience of being in contact with spirit. Difficulty in focusing. Advice. You may be in more instant and constant communion with spirit now and the sensation may therefore be altered. You will adapt to this new feeling. You are actually thinking and acting in partnership with spirit most of the time now. You may find your meditation periods shorter. Number 12. Power surges. All of a sudden you are heated from head to toe. It is a momentary sensation, but uncomfortable. In contrast, some people have felt inexplicably cold. I have experienced both. More recently I experience waves or currents of energy rolling through me. Sometimes the energy seems so intense when it first comes into my body that I feel a little nauseated. But if I think of the energy as divine and let go of fear, I feel wonderful and enjoy the sensation. If you are an energy worker, you may have noticed that the heat running through your hands has increased tremendously. This is good. Advice. If you are uncomfortable, ask your higher power. That if it be for your best and highest good, to turn down, up the temperature a bit. Number 13. A range of physical manifestations. Headaches, backaches, neck pains. Flu-like symptoms, this is called vibrational flu, digestive problems, muscular spasms or cramps, racing heartbeat, chest pains, changes in sexual desire, numbness or pain in the limbs. 
and involuntary vocalizations or bodily movements. Some of us have even had old conditions from childhood reappear briefly for healing. Advice. Remember what I said about seeking medical help if you need it. If you have determined that this is not a medical condition, relax in the realization that it is only temporary. Number 14. Looking younger. Yippee. As you clear emotional issues and release limiting beliefs and heavy baggage from the past, you are actually lighter. Your frequency is higher. You love yourself and life more. You begin to resemble the perfect you that you really are. Number 15. Vivid dreams. Sometimes the dreams are so real that you wake up confused. You may even have lucid dreams in which you are in control. Many dreams may be mystical or carry messages for you. And in some dreams, you just know that you are not dreaming, that what is happening is somehow real. Advice. You will remember what is important for you to remember. Don't force anything. Above all, stay out of fear. Number 16. Events that completely alter your life, death, divorce, change in job status, loss of home, illness, and or other catastrophes, sometimes several at once. Forces that cause you to slow down, simplify, change, re-examine who you are and what your life means to you. Forces that you cannot ignore. Forces that cause you release your attachments. Forces that awaken your sense of love and compassion for all. Number 17. A desire to break free from restrictive patterns, life-draining jobs, consumptive lifestyles, and toxic people or situations. You feel a compelling need to find yourself and your life purpose now. You want to be creative and free to be who you really are. You might find yourself drawn to the arts and nature. You want to unclutter yourself from things and people that no longer serve you. Advice. Do it. Number 18. Emotional and mental confusion. A feeling that you need to get your life straightened out. It feels like a mess. But at the same time you feel chaotic and unable to focus. See number 45. Advice. Put your ear to your heart and your own discernment will follow. Number 19. Introspection, solitude and loss of interest in more extroverted activities. This stage has come as a surprise to many extroverts who formerly saw themselves as outgoing and involved. They say, I don't know why, but I don't like to go out as much as before. Number 20. Creativity Bursts. Receiving images, ideas, music, and other creative inspirations at an often overwhelming rate. Advice, at least record these inspirations. For Spirit is speaking to you about how you might fulfill your purpose and contribute to the healing of the planet. Number 21. A perception that time is accelerating. It seems that way because you have had so many changes introduced into your life at an unprecedented rate. The number of changes seems to be growing. Advice, breaking your day up into appointments and time segments increases the sense of acceleration. You can slow time down by relaxing into the present moment and paying attention to what's at hand. Not anticipating what's ahead. Slow down and tell yourself that you have plenty of time. Ask your higher power to help you. Keep your focus on the present. Try to flow from one activity to the next. Stay tuned to your inner guidance. You can also warp time by asking for it. Next time you feel rushed, say, time warp, please. I need some more time too. Then relax. Number 22. A sense of impendingness. There is a feeling that something is about to happen. This can create anxiety. Advice. There is nothing to worry about. Things are definitely happening. But anxiety only creates more problems for you. All your thoughts, positive or negative, are prayers. There is nothing to fear. Number 23. Impatience. You know better. But sometimes you can't help it. 
You want to get on with what seems to be coming your way. Uncertainty is not comfortable. Advice. Learn to live with the uncertainty. Knowing that nothing comes to you until you are ready. Impatience is really a lack of trust, especially trust in your higher power. When you focus on the present, you will experience miracles, yes. Even in traffic, number 24. A deep yearning for meaning, purpose, spiritual connection, and revelation. Perhaps an interest in the spiritual for the first time in your life. Constant craving. As K.D. Lang says, the material world cannot fulfill this longing. Advice, follow your heart and the way will open up for you. Number 25. A feeling that you are somehow different. A disquieting sense that everything in your life feels new and altered, that you have left your old self behind. You have. You are much greater than you can possibly imagine. There is more to come. Number 26. Teachers, appear everywhere with perfect timing to help you on your spiritual journey. People, books, movies, events, mother nature, etc. Teachers may appear to be negative or positive when you are trapped in polarity thinking, but, from a transcendent perspective, they are always perfect. Just what you need to learn from and move on. By the way, we never get more than we are ready to master. Each challenge presents us with an opportunity to show our mastery in passing through it. Number 27. You find a spiritual track that makes sense to you and speaks to you at the most profound levels. Suddenly you are gaining a perspective that you would never have considered before. You hunger to know more. You read, share with others, ask questions, and go inside to discover more about who you are and why you are here. Number 28. You are moving through learning and personal issues at a rapid pace. You sense that you are getting it quite readily. Advice. Keep remembering that things will come to you when they are ready to be healed. Not sooner. Deal with whatever comes up with courage and you will move through the issues rapidly. Number 29. Invisible presences. Here is the woo-woo stuff. Some people report feeling surrounded by beings at night or having the sensation of being touched or talked to. Often they will wake with a start. Some also feel their body vibrate. The vibrations are caused by energetic changes after emotional clearing has taken place. Advice, this is a sensitive topic. But you may feel better blessing your bed and space around it before you sleep. I rest assured that I am surrounded only by the most magnificent spiritual entities and am always safe in God's care. Sometimes, however, the fear gets to me, and I call in Archangel Michael and or Archangel Uriel. I don't beat myself up for being afraid sometimes. I forgive myself for not always sovereign at 3 a.m. number 30. Portents, visions, illusions, numbers, and symbols. Seeing things that have spiritual importance for you. Noticing how numbers appear synchronistically in your awareness. Everything has a message if you take the time to look. I enjoy the experience of getting the messages. What fun, number 31. Increased integrity. You realize that it is time for you to seek and speak your truth. It suddenly seems important for you to become more authentic, more yourself. You may have to say no to people whom you have tried to please in the past. You may find it intolerable to stay in a marriage or job or place that doesn't support who you are. You may also find there is nowhere to hide, no secrets to keep anymore. Honesty becomes important in all your relationships. Advice. Listen to your heart. If your guidance tells you not to do something, speak up and take action. Say, no. Likewise, you must also say, yes, to that which compels you. You must risk displeasing others without guilt in order to attain spiritual sovereignty. Number 32. Harmony with seasons and cycles. 
you are becoming more tuned to the seasons, the phases of the moon and natural cycles, more awareness of your place in the natural world, a stronger connection to the earth. Number 33. Electrical and mechanical malfunctions. When you are around, light bulbs flicker, the computer locks up, or the radio goes haywire. Advice, call on your angels, guides, or grace Elohim to fix it or put up a field of protection of light around the machine. Surround your car with blue light. Laugh, number 34. Increased synchronicity and many small miracles. Look for more of these. Advice, synchronistic events tell you if you are heading in the right direction or making the correct choices. Honor these clues and you cannot go astray. Spirit uses synchronicity to communicate to you. That's when you begin to experience daily miracles. See number 30, number 35. Increased intuitive abilities and altered states of consciousness. Thinking of someone and immediately hearing from them. More synchronicities. Having sudden insights about patterns or events from the past. Clairvoyance, out-of-body experiences. And other psychic phenomena. Intensified sensitivity and knowing. Awareness of one's essence and that of others. Channeling angelic and Christ consciousness energies. Number 36. Communication with spirit. Contact with angels, spirit guides, and other divine entities. Channeling. More and more people seem to be given this opportunity. Feeling inspiration and downloading information that takes form as writing, painting, ideas, communications, dance, etc. Number 37. A sense of oneness with all. A direct experience of this wholeness. Transcendent awareness. Being flooded with compassion and love for all life. Compassionate detachment or unconditional love for all is what lifts us up to higher levels of consciousness and joy. Number 38. Moments of joy and bliss. A deep abiding sense of peace and knowing that you are never alone. Number 39. Integration. You become emotionally, psychologically, physically and spiritually stronger and clearer. You feel as if you are in alignment with your higher self. Number 40. Living your purpose. You know you are finally doing what you came to earth for. New skills and gifts are emerging, especially healing ones. Your life, work experiences are now converging and starting to make sense. You are finally going to use them all. Advice. Listen to your heart. Your passion leads you to where you must go. Go within and ask your higher self, what is it you would have me do? Watch for synchronicities. Listen, number 41. Feeling closer to animals and plants. To some people, animals now seem to be more human in their behavior. Wild animals are less afraid. Plants respond to your love and attention more than ever. Some may even have messages for you. Number 42. Seeing beings of other dimensions. The veil between dimensions is thinner, so it is not surprising. Just stay in your sovereignty. You are more powerful than you can ever imagine, so do not entertain fear. Ask your guides for help if you slip into fear. Number 43. Seeing a person's true form or seeing loved ones with a different face, past life or parallel life, number 44. Physically manifesting thoughts and desires more quickly and efficiently. Advice. Monitor your thoughts. All thoughts are prayers. Be careful what you ask for. Number 45. Left brain fogginess. Your psychic abilities, your intuitive knowing, your feeling and compassion, your ability to experience your body, your visioning. Your expressiveness all emanate from the right brain. In order for this side of the brain to develop more fully, the left brain must shut down a little bit. 
Normally the left hemisphere's capacity for order, organization, structure, linear sequencing, analysis, evaluation, precision, focus, problem solving, and mathematics dominate our often less valued right brain. What results are memory lapses, placing words in the wrong sequence, inability or no desire to read for very long, inability to focus. Forgetting what you are just about to say, impatience with linear forms of communication, audio or written formats, a feeling of spaciness, being scattered. Losing interesting research or complex information, feeling bombarded with words and talk and information, and a reluctance to write. Sometimes you feel dull and have no interest in analysis. Lively intellectual discussion, or investigation. On the other hand, you might find yourself drawn to the sensate, videos, magazines with photos, beautiful artwork, movies, music, sculpting, painting. Being with people, dancing, gardening, walking, and other kinesthetic forms of expression. You may search for spiritual content, even science fiction. Advice. You may discover that if you allow your heart and your right brain to lead you, the left will then be activated appropriately to support you. And someday we will be well balanced. Using both hemispheres with mastery, number 46. Dizziness. This occurs when you are ungrounded. Perhaps you have just cleared a big emotional issue and your body is adjusting to your lighter state. Advice. Ground yourself by eating protein. Sometimes comfort food feels right. Don't make any food right or wrong for you. Use your guidance to know what you need at any given moment. Take your shoes off and put your feet in the grass for a couple of minutes, number 47. Falling, having accidents, breaking bones. Your body is not grounded or perhaps your life is out of balance. Or your body may be telling you to slow down, examine certain aspects of your life, or heal certain issues. There is always a message. When I recently broke my ankle, I understand that my ankle was taking on what I myself refused to deal with. And that was all of the above. Advice, stay grounded by taking your shoes off and putting your feet in the grass. Even better, lie down on the grass without a blanket under you. Feel the earth beneath you. Get out in nature. Slow down and pay attention. Be mindful about what you are doing. Feel your feelings when they come up. Stay in the present. Surround yourself with blue light when you are feeling shaky. Number 48. Heart palpitations. A racing heart usually accompanies a heart opening. It only lasts for a few moments and means that the heart is rebalancing itself after an emotional release. I had one episode that terrified me. I woke up in the middle of the night, my heart pounding. I thought it was going to come right out of my chest. It only happened once and was, I understand, a huge heart chakra opening. But I did check it out. There is nothing wrong with my heart. Advice, remember what I said about getting medical attention when needed. Consult your doctor about any conditions you are not comfortable with. Number 49. Faster hair and nail growth. More protein is being used in the body. Too bad we can't tell the body where to grow the hair and where not to grow it. Or can we? Hmm. Number 50. A desire to find your soulmate or twin flame. More than ever before. The idea that we can have a relationship that matches who we are seems more desirable. Advice. The truth is, we have to be the kind of person we want to attract. We have to love ourselves and where we are right now before we can attract a more perfect mate. The work begins at home. Here is how I think it works. Hold the desire for this person in your heart. But without attachment, expect that someday you will meet someone who is more suited to you, but let go of any expectations as to who this will be and how it will happen. 
focus instead on cleaning up your own life and being the kind of person you want to be. Be happy now. Enjoy your life. Then you may see, number 51. Memories surface. Body memories. Suppressed memories, images of past lives and or parallel lives. We are healing and integrating all our, selves, so expect to have some of these experiences. Advice. Keep in mind that it is best to recall what only what comes to mind, leave the rest alone, don't analyze everything to death because you will be stuck in the tape loop of infinite issues to process. And feel your feelings as they come up. Ask for help from your guides. Note, this document may be shared, but please send it in its entirety. Thanks. Love and hugs. Anarita. Please subscribe to in 5D YouTube videos. If you have an amazing 5D article you would like published on in 5D, send your article to my article at in5d.com. Due to new algorithms and shadow banning on Facebook, please subscribe to In5D and get all updates delivered to your inbox in one simple email. Just go to 